I built my first turbo car and I did it all wrong. If I had built this Mustang the right way from the start, I'd be running nines right now with ease instead of wasting time and money on all the wrong parts. But instead, I made every mistake in the book. Now I'm fixing everything with a new engine, new strategy, no wasted money, and if you're building a turbo car, watch this before you make the same mistakes that I did. Let's talk about what I did wrong, what I should have done, and how I'm about to turn this small block Ford into a nine second drag car. The biggest mistake, the stock block 302. I thought I could push this thing deep into the nines, but I skipped some critical steps. First, I didn't gap the rings properly for boost. When you boost a motor, the rings expand under heat, and I ran it too tight, so that's just asking for failure. The rings were gapped, but it was gapped for a little bit of nitrous, so this kind of limited me to seven pounds of boost. Secondly, this engine doesn't have a girdle, and when you push these stock block 302s to high RPMs, the engine has a vibration that eventually will flex and break, and adding a girdle strengthens the bottom end. And third, this cam was not set up for boost nor EFI. This engine was originally being built for a carburetor and a little bit of nitrous and midway through I was like well I want to boost it my engine builder said don't do that you got to switch some stuff I didn't listen and one question I get a lot is how much does it cost to build a fast turbo small block and the truth is it just depends on where you waste your money like for instance your transmission choice like I wasted a lot of money putting a 4R70W in this thing with a trans controller when in comparison I could have just put a turbo 400 with the trans brake and that's what's going back in this thing or a stock block versus a dart block now if i would have just gone ahead and did the dart block like my engine builder suggested i wouldn't be pulling this motor out right now a dart block can handle big power all day long now on a stock block you're with borrowed time at the end of the day you don't have to spend a lot of money to go fast but you've got to spend it in the right places we're using the same efi setup the same turbo system pretty much everything's going to look the same but it's going to be a really 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 strong bottom end well, a 302 bottom end that will hold a lot of boost. And while we've got this thing taken apart, we're going to go ahead and put the turbo 400 with the trans brake in it. All right, so we're going to take this Mustang over to my grandmother's barn, rip this motor out, get it to the engine builder, take the dart block over to him, and we should be done in about a month's time, right in time for the beginning of race season. Piece of cake. Man, them seats are a pain in the ass. <laughs> for like a month. All right, to grandmother's house we go. It's got windshield wipers. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Great car! See, this thing's got so much potential. But it loads up after so long. See? Alright, we made it to the GAMS. Now we gotta get this thing in the barn. Basically final destination for you, huh, buddy? So we're pulling this motor and nothing's actually broke on it. So why are we pulling it? We're getting this engine out. We're taking all the good parts off of it, like the crank, the heads, possibly even the pistons, and we're transferring them all over to a brand new dart block. And then that's gonna allow us to turn the boost up to like 20 to 25 PSI with the same exact setup that we were running before. The only difference between this setup and the last setup is it's not gonna have the limitations of the stock block and we're putting a turbo 400 with the trans brake. So it'll give it a lot more pep off the line and we could boost this thing basically to the moon, huh, Ethan? Yeah. So moral of the story is, buy a dart block from the beginning, gap your piston rings, put an EFI cam in it. Oh, and most importantly, I didn't add a girdle to this. In the next video, we're pulling out the Turbo 302 and we're taking it over to my engine builder, Bob Jacobs from Acme Shop. And we can start assembling our brand new dart block. And if you wanna see how we do it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.